All right, for more on this, let's bring in Ryan Wilson from the Pick 6 podcast. Ryan, <clears throat> all that draft studying you've done, let's go back to draft night. Kenny Pickett gets taken in the first round by the Steelers. Did you think he would have a chance to start week one? No, I, I didn't, Chris. And you mentioned earlier he went 20th overall, the only quarterback to go in the first round, the only quarterback to go in the first two rounds. Uh, he was not my favorite quarterback coming out. He was, I think, fourth on my list. Uh, our buddy Pete Prisco liked him a little more and thought he might end up in a place like Pittsburgh. And and the, my initial reaction was, okay, I don't know when he's going to play. They had already signed Mr. Bisky earlier in the offseason. The first week of training camp was a little rough for Kenny Pickett as well. And then he picked it up. And not only did he pick it up, he picked it up in a big way. Every single one of those preseason games they played, all three of them, he stood out. Now, he didn't stand out more than Mr. Bisky or even Mason Rudolph. All three quarterbacks had great training camps and and preseasons. No interceptions thrown in any of those games. They all threw touchdown passes, all made plays outside of the pocket other than Mason Rudolph, who's more of a pocket passer, all made on-point throws, on-time throws, accuracy, all the things that you want to see from all the quarterbacks on the roster. The Steelers were able to do that. But now the question becomes, do you want to throw Kenny Pickett out there? Yes, he's 24 years old, but he is still a rookie. Uh, He's said it much as much recently. He has a ton to learn. Mike Tomlin hasn't said which way he's going to go. Mike Tomlin routinely meets with the media on Tuesdays, which is tomorrow, before uh, regular season games. Their first game, as you mentioned, is going to be Sunday against the Bengals. And I don't think you want to throw Kenny Pickett out there against the defending AFC champions, a team that was really close to winning the Super Bowl. Because here's the math. And, and Hassel, you're a, you're a Bears fan. You remember Mr. Bisky when he arrived, and, and he did have some positive moments in Chicago. If you put a veteran out there and he struggles – that's fine. You can weather that storm for a game or two, three or four even. If you put a rookie out there, uh, he gets his doors blown off in weeks one and two, then you wonder where he is mentally and whether you want to start doing the old switcheroo and, and pull him and then bring him back in week six or seven or whenever you feel comfortable again, or do you want to let him weather that storm and then take all the, the above-the-neck concerns you might have about getting hit 10, 15 times a game? And I think that's the math that Mike Tomlin's doing. Didn't even know Big Ben had a podcast, but I think he's actually right. I think you roll with Mr. Bisky, you let him uh, take some of those blows that might be coming Kenny Pickett's way. He's a veteran. He's better equipped to probably handle them early on. And then maybe six, seven, eight weeks to the season, depending on how things are going. If you're not happy with Mitch but happy with Kenny, maybe that's when you make that move. All right. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.